Hi, Apigee Edge provides three rate limiting policies Quota, Spike RS, and Concurrent Rate Limit. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to protect your backend against traffic spikes using the Spike RS policy. Let's take an example. Here I have a, a weather API proxy. Let's go ahead and add a Spike RS policy to this. Um, we can give it a name. And through the wizard, I can just click on Add, and that will create a policy with the default configuration. If I click on this to have a look on the configuration, there are three key configurable elements to this policy. The first one is the rate, which specifies the number of requests that are allowed in per minute or per second intervals. The second one is the identifier. If this is optional and can be used to uniquely identify and apply spike arrest, uh, uh, spike arrest against individual apps uh, or developers. If you don't use this element, all calls made to the API proxy are counted for spike arrest. However, if you use this element, you also might want to use the message weight uh, configuration in order to modify the impact of a single, a single request on the calculation of the spike arrest limit. Now, the value of the identifier and message weight attributes can be predefined or custom variables. For example, to apply this policy uh, on a per developer base, I can use the developer.id uh, predefined that will be set after the execution of the verify API key policy. And now let's go ahead and change the rate to 10 per second and save. Now that we have created the policy and we've configured it, the question is how the policy actually works. So let's have a look. Spike arrest performs throttling based on uh, the time at which the last traffic was received. In other words, it doesn't use counters. Instead, it divides your rate settings into smaller intervals, and it will calculate the, the, the full number of requests that are allowed within, an, within that interval, which means per second rate value gets divided into intervals of milliseconds and per minute, uh, um, per minute uh, uh, rate value gets divided into intervals of seconds. So in our previous example of 10 requests per second, the policy divides this into 100 millisecond intervals. And based on the time at which the last traffic was received, it will only allow one request every 100 millisecond. Let's take another example. In this case, I have 10 requests per minute. Uh, the policy will divide this into six second intervals, which is 60 seconds divided by 10 requests. And based on the time at which the last traffic was received, it will only uh, allow one request every six seconds. But this is not it. How does the policy actually work in an environment with multiple message processing? It's very important to note that spike arrest is not disputed, which means each message processor independently handles its own throttling. So going back to our example of 10 requests per uh, minute rate settings, and assuming that the platform is running two message processor with a round robin configuration, which is a default configuration for um, Edge Cloud, in this case, the overall arrest rate is two requests every six seconds, or one request per message processor for every six seconds. So to get your overall arrest rate, multiply your calculated number of full requests per interval by the number of message processors. Thank you for watching. Uh, please visit our product documentation page and feel free to ask questions on community.apg.com.